Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And finally, this is a part two of my series, Effects Ideas for Your Music Videos, where I break down like six to seven effects in like a single video. The part one of the series, I saw you guys really liked it, so we are back. And without wasting any more time, our first effect gone with this angel wing effect. So I'm gonna show you how to create this. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate our clip, then take our roto brush tool and start rotoscoping out our subject. If you don't already know, you can just brush over to rotoscope and if there are any mistakes like this you can just hit alt and erase those so it's pretty simple after you're done rotoscoping and you can see here our option called free just hit that to lock in your rotoscope and now we can see our background is separated from our subject you can even go over to effect controls and in rotoscope you can just play with the feather and shift A's to make it a bit cleaner after that i found out this green screen of wing just flying like like this i'll link this in the description and the whole project file for free so you can check it out and see what's going on with all the layers and stuff anyways now let's just drag this into our comp like that i'll go a bit further uh like about the here and you can see it's a simple animation but i'm gonna right click go with the time and time stretch and make it like 50 so it's a bit faster yeah you can see it right now then you can add like a key light into it to remove remove all the green so let's just select the green and remove it after that you can put it below your subject layer and just drag it where your subject at like this and then just scale it up a bit and put it like that you can already see it looks so fire it's pretty simple to do but we're gonna add some more effects to spice it up now we're gonna add deep low it is an external plugin though you have to download it if you don't have this you can use like a regular glow and probably set the opacity to like screen or something but I Anyways, let's just bring down the exposure for now and bring up the size for sure. And to remove the black, go over to Unmold and just check there and your background and the black will be gone. I just feel like this glow really adds that impact like of like an angel which is glowing like, you know. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna add uh, another object now because I wanna add a dope zoom. Then just select all your clip and link it to the lawn object take this tool and just drag your anchor point to your artist face uh like about that and you can just hit ask to bring up the scale and hit the stopwatch in there and i'm gonna put the first keyframe over like here and go over the first frame and just scale it in hit f9 to easy those go over to graph make it into speed graph and you can just make a graph something like this so this is the quick graph I made in value graph. We're gonna actually go over the motion blur and turn that on too. And lastly, I'm gonna right click and create an adjustment layer. And from my shake pack, I'm gonna add the best one. If you don't already know, I have a shake pack, which allows you to add those insane shake to your music videos. And in my website, I'm running a crazy bundle right now with my shake pack and my three tire pack. The bundle is so crazy, you are really getting like two packs in the price of one. It will also be linked in the description description if you want to check it out let's just open up the keyframes and just line it up uh, let's just add over here i'm gonna go over to position 2 and just add a wiggle expression real quick you don't really have to do this but my sort is kind of still so i added this as you can see my shake pack really had the impact and also our first effect is done so let's just move on to our second effect so our second effect will be this head fire effect that i like to call so to make this effect i have this head fire that i got from footage squared probably so i'm just gonna drag it into our composition and now you can see our fire is on our composition so to track the fire into his head we will just place it on somewhere around his head probably and then hit p to bring up a position and you can just track around your subject head he's wearing like a cap in my scene so it's like kind of hard but i will still show you how to do this i need the stopwatch in the scale too probably and like about here from here i'm just scale down a bit a little i mean and now you can see the fire is really tracked into his head then you can just prick on the layer that layer like that and now we want to add a deep glow into it and you can just bring up the size a little bit 
and lower down the amount and go over to almond and just check that also and now you can really see deep glow really has that impact too uh, you can even change the color of the fire because our scene is kind of bluish so i'm just gonna add a color balance as a less before my deep glow and just play with the colors like i'm gonna make it something like blue yeah this looks really cool now after that if you really want you can add an effect called liquify liquify into here and hit the stop push in distortion mess and you can just start warping around him like this after your liquify is done it will look something like this you can really see after adding the liquify it is just warping around him and in my case it looks pretty cool and i really want to add another fire overlay that i downloaded from youtube so let's just right click go over transform and flip it over so it's on this side right where the fire comes in right here and disappears we're gonna just give him our opacity to zero and to remove the background you just have to make the blending mode to screen then i will add a color balance hls and just make it the same color lastly made an adjustment layer and added a shake from my shake pack just added the best one it is my favorite i just played with the keyframe just, just put the keyframe in the start and my second result looked something like this and my third effect will be three titles i've been seeing a lot of music video featuring this three title look in like the ice face video also and many more so i'm just gonna show you how to create that so first let's just select our text tool and write like our title title add your artist name here sample title so let's just lower down the first one and one thing i like to do is change the font of the first one to like something like bold i just think it looks a bit cool and this just hide this layer for now and hit ctrl y to make a solid layer now and add like a element into it if you don't already know element is a plugin which allows you to import 3d models and create 3d models in after effects i also know there's like an update of after effects in beta i guess where you can import like 3d models but i have personally tried that and it is nowhere better than element so i really recommend you downloading element and trying it out but anyways to start off go over to custom layer go over to custom text and max and set it as your path layer set it as your title layer i mean and even head over the scene setup now and it would open this new panel this is a pretty simple panel to use so i'm gonna show you how to create element is really simple not like blender it is not too complicated so you might be wondering where is our text to create our text go over to extrude and hit that now we can see our text and then our title is is on our 3d scene like that now we can go over to extrusion model and go to bevel one and just extrude there like this yeah and you can just expand the edges if you want yeah this looks pretty cool and for material i like to use chrome or if you have like li shader or pro shader you can use those two those are pretty cool comes with a lot of material to use in it uh let's just go with li shader for now let's just go with something like this i'm gonna bring up the glossiness then in environment you can go over to environment and use the default environment or you can you also use custom layers with all of these you can play around and look your works the best but for now we're gonna just exit out of here you can also make like a camera into your scene let's just make it a 15 millimeter camera and like there you can go over to group one go with particle look and just enable multi object and let's just exit out of here for now and go to animation engine and you can just enable that now and where it says smooth then see you can keep it like 60 percent and in animation hit the stop button there and i'm gonna bring this grief him a bit like here and just bring up the animation so title comes in like that so we have this simple title animation you can even go over to graph and play with that too as you can see we created a title but it looks pretty simple if you want to create those insane titles which you see in every music video nowadays you can use my title pack which allows you to create these type of titles really easily you just have to change your text change the environment 
environment and stuff and you are done yeah it's that simple if you want to download the pack the link will be in the description you don't really have to but it really supports me as a person and supports this channel to make more content and make more banger videos like this so anyways let's move on to our fourth effect which would be a chroma transition this is really simple effect to do but i see a lot of people that have been asking how i do it so let me show you so to create the effect we need a sapphire sapphire is an external plugin if you don't already know so the effect we want to use is sapphire distort chroma from the sapphire of course as you can see it looks really crazy right now with all the values you can play around so to create the simple chroma animation what i like to do is go with the blur lens and bring it up to like about here so it is like smooth and you can just hit the stop pause in the amount now and make the zero at the first frame for sure about like 0.1 or something yeah and you can go around the middle and just bring up the amount so it like goes like this and back to like g and you can set it back to 0.1 then you can just select those keyframes and F9. After that, you can add like an exposure to add that flash with it. Right around here, we want to bring up the exposure and go to here and set it to zero. Then lastly, to spice it all off, we're going to add a flicker. Bring up the amount and put the flicker before your distort chroma. And this is how we create this simple chroma transition. I know a lot of people are happy to know this because I've been getting asked a lot about this. So anyways, let's let's just move into our fifth effect so our fifth effect would be this crazy mixed media effect if you are thinking i'm just gonna like print out the paper and like do it the manual way the hard way you can say but now nah, we're gonna use after effects for this so if you don't already know this extension called mxm that allows us to do this kind of effect really easily it's probably like two or three clicks and you are done which is life changing for a mixed media artist for real if you want to check it out i'll link this in the description and I of course got you guys with the code you can use code ASIM to get $5 off of your purchase and also if you buy from a link I will get a little cut back which helps me to make more videos like this so to start with we gonna hit the face comps and you just have to select your comp probably so let's just select our comp 5 you can see and launch and as you can see it already looks pretty cool without doing any adjustments but one thing i like to do is turn on posterize and set it to like 12 or 15 frames i guess it just looks cool and also you can change around these presets this would give you different moods and vibe so you can just play around these and see what works the best for you i think i'm gonna go with this one because it looks pretty bright and clear i guess and also you can hop into the main cup always and add some overlays here to make it more cooler so we are gonna make like a multiple frame in the corner so i'm gonna grab some clips from this music video real quick then just put it in one corner like this and you can even take your like marks tool and make like different shapes let's go with the circle for now and let's just drag it one more time and see what works the best and he also has a free scribble pack which you can drag it into your main comp and play around it if i drag like this lines as you can see i can put this in the corner so yeah you can really get creative with this plugin and really create your own effect you don't have to copy me at all after playing around a bit with the mxm i have my result looking something like this so yeah let's just move into our sixth effect so our sixth effect would be twixter if you don't already know what is twixter is is twixter is a plugin which allows you to create those insane slow-mo that you see a lot of people are doing i know you can like shoot at like high fps and do it that way but in case of vfx everyone uses twixter pro so we won't stop by adding an adjustment layer onto our onto our composition and just select them both our both of our clip and just pre compacting it then after we want to add twixter pro that we was talking about before and in input and output fps you just have to put the fps of your footage so let's just put it like 25 because my footage is 25 i know if you want to check your fps you can just select your clip in the project panel and it should show your fps right here then to make that slow mo let's just give him our amount and go a bit further and just slow it down to like 10 or 20 
30 or anything you like it really gives that slow mo that we're looking for then you can add some effects into it so i'm gonna add a level first keep him there go a bit further and just make it a bit darker and add like a hue and saturation like lower down the saturation and then you can add something some sake into it you can add any sake you like but i personally will use my pack let's just go with warp vertical sake let's just see how it looks and as you can see it really adds that impact that we need like that that you see in a lot of edits one thing i like to do is just it just not keep him my flicker too and low it down to like something like that then lastly i added a zoom into it too and after adding a quick zoom my result looks something like this so let's just move into our seventh effect so our seventh effect would be this lens flare effect i've been seeing this getting popular day by day and i really love it too so i'm gonna show you how to create this so let's just hit to tracker and hit track motion and we're gonna track the cigar in his hand so let's just make a track point right there it could be anything like like you could do it for your artist watch or for like jewelry and stuff you can you can do it in that too but let's just go to analyze and let's just go over to analyze and just make a straight the stop so it auto tracks but as you can see the auto track is not that good it really messes up sometimes so you just gotta see you just gotta fix it and try again it messed up again so let's just do it one more time after some trial and errors my track looks something like this it will track perfectly now so we can create a null layer real quick null object and go to edit target and set it as your null which is already is and just hit apply so now we're gonna add adjustment layer and to add that lens flare i'm gonna use sapphire lens flare like that if you don't have one you can also use the unicorn light corn light fact or you can use also use like lens flare that comes with after effect this is the default lens play you can also play with the millimeters to get the look i really will like this 105 millimeter one but for now i'm just gonna use the sapphire lens flare and put it where our cigar is and go to load preset then after it loads all the preset you can see a lot of preset are in here you can choose from i think i'm gonna go something like this i'm gonna go with this lens flare and just hit okay and you can just bring up the size probably and to drag it to the null hit the stopwatch in the hotspot and just bring up your keyframe and just hit the stopwatch again to do not break the keyframe right now and select your clip and open up all the keyframes on it not the null layer then in the hotspot you can see a pick whip tool right here as you can see then just link it to the feature center and now your lens ray will be automatically tracked into it i guess doing this way looks really cool so now i'm just gonna hit the stopwatch in the scale width and go a bit further and bring it up as we go like that i'll lower down the brightness a little bit add like a add like a flicker to top everything off and with the curves and let's just add noise into it too mm, like that and my seventh and last effect looks something like this so yeah that's it for today's video guys i break down seven effect for you in this episode we will do more in next episode so wait for that too you can hit the subscribe button it really means a lot hit the like button if you like the video project file will be linked down below for free so yeah see you in the next video peace